Okay, well done for doing so well on listening last week. Um, I'm going to start now with our story of King Lear. So, listening up. Alrighty, so here is our King Lear. As we can see, he seems to be a bit of a grumpy man. Um, he's our tragic hero, and his hamatia, or his tragic flaw, is that he's pretty blind to everything that's happening around him, as we see as our story goes on. So, this is his kingdom here. Um, hands up, who knows what this is? That's right, it is Britain, it's the UK, but it's Britannia because it's the olden days, so the mythical Great Britannia is his kingdom. Now he has three daughters, they are Goneril, Regan, and Cordelia. Now two of his daughters, Goneril and Regan, are quite evil, and Cordelia, well she's a lovely sweet daughter, uh, do we know of any anything in our modern literature that has two evil daughters and a good daughter? Cinderella. Yeah, awesome. Well done. Thank you, Lizzie. Yeah, Cinderella. Um, so you can see how stories kind of recycle themselves and you know move along like that. Now, so King Lear decided, because he was a grumpy old man, that he didn't want to be the king anymore. So he decided that he would have a contest to find out who loved him the most out of his three daughters, and he would give them the biggest share of the kingdom. Now, Goneril and Regan are amazing liars. So they told great stories about how much they loved their father, but Cordelia, she didn't want to have any of it. She was like, no, nah, I'm not going to play your game. Um, I'm going to say nothing. So angry King Lear got really angry. He gave Goneril the top part, which was then Albany, and Regan at the bottom part, and, his, and the kingdom was split between the two of them. Now our Cordelia, I'll leave everyone over a little bit, our Cordelia got exiled to France. So there she is over there in France, and that's um, how he ended up um, the end of scene one. Now our Mr. Kent, beautiful Master Kent, who is the head advisor to the king, he kind of was like, Leah, you're doing a couple of silly things that's going on here. And the king was like, nope, I'm not having anything of it. I'm not going to listen. So he exiled Master Kent too. But Master Kent was rather clever and was like, knows his king well and thought, he's so blind, he's not going to notice anything. So Master Kent put on a little bit of a disguise, incognito, and continued to hang out with the king. And the king was none the wiser. See how tragic floor of the king? Anyway, King Lear decided that he was going to go for a visit to see those daughters that said they loved him so much. So he goes up to go hang out with Goneril up here in Albany and says, hey, can I stay with you for a while? Goneril's like, no, you're not a king anymore. You can't stay with me at all. Get out of my kingdom. So he's like, oh, okay. Um, she must have lied. So he goes down to go visit Regan in the bottom half here and says, can I stay with you for a while? You know, maybe have some dinner, we can have a party. And she's like, no, get out of my kingdom. So King Lear finds himself abandoned by his daughters and a huge storm comes over the whole of Britannia and he finds himself absolutely drenched in the storm like a commoner. And then this is his moment of Agnorisis, Anagnorisis, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, look how stupid I've been, he says. He's so silly, he's wrecked up everything. And he's like, I have to go and save Cordelia. I have to go find Kent. And I've got to go fix this whole problem. So off he goes to go find Cordelia. But in the middle of this, Cordelia, she's taken matters into her own hands. She's pretty of a smart cookie. And so she decides that she's going to marry the King of France while she's over there. And decides to declare war on her sisters to try and get her father's kingdom back. Now, Goneril and Regan, they, um, they've had a lot of problems going on. So what happens with them is two people who want heaps and heaps of power between them, that could be said to be their tragic flaws actually, want heaps of power, end up 
wanting to cancel each other out to have ultimate power. Also, there's a bit of a boy involved that they both have feelings for. Problems happen when that happens. And they end up both end up killing each other. Boom and boom. They are out for the count. Now, just before they um, did that, though, I should have mentioned that um, they actually sent for uh, Princess Cordelia to be hung. So, um, when our King Lear gets word of that, he tries to save her, but because it's a tragedy, and we all know how tragedies end, crash bam, Cordelia dies as well. Now, King Lear, you know, he's become a good person. He's travelled a lot, he's really had heaps of character development in this play, and um, it hasn't been good for him, so he dies with a broken heart. And our lovely Master Kent... After everything, he uh, he can't stand to live without his king either, who he loves like a father. So, Master Kent goes as well. And that is the end of our play. So, um, I'm hoping that um, you understood some of that, or hopefully a lot of it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to break up into groups, and I've got four different parts of the play here, and we're going to make some tabloids together. So, let's get into our groups.